Hello Catherine, this is your assignment where you have to um, make equations given the roots. Now, it's also known as the, um, where we try to find the sum of the product just given of the roots, given the equation. There's something that uh, I want to go over a couple of things that you did really well right at the beginning. I like that you did this. You wrote this down right here on your page, which is important, I think. because you use that right away in, in your next set of questions. The other thing that you could have used is, of course we know that a squared plus, sorry, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. And the sum, another way of writing it, is saying that the sum equals minus b over a, and the product of the roots is c divided by a. So you can always find it by using this as well. So you put one important information, part of information on here, but you could have added this as well. And, and that would have helped you as you're doing uh, the assignment later on. And you might have even done that, I'm not sure. To find the sum, you just add these together. Uh, adding fractions, common denominator, there's your sum, there's your product. You put it into your formula like you did here because you have the template up here. Multiply everything by three to get rid of the fraction. That's your answer. Perfect. Now, of course, it does get harder, and we can see that that right here. This is is more difficult to work with than what the previous question was. But you do exactly the same thing. You add these together, and you end up getting two. Perfect. For this one, you actually did everything right except for one thing, and that is minus square root five times root five would give you minus square root 25, which is minus 5, which is minus 1. So we now, we now know the sum and the product. Our goal now is to find out what is our equation. So our equation is x squared minus the sum of the roots x plus the product of the roots equals 0. So we throw all of our numbers in. The 2 goes here and the negative one quarter goes here and now we multiply everything by four to get rid of the fractions or in this case fraction and this would be minus eight x and minus one equals zero so that's it you just had to finish that question off looking at the next page here you're supposed to find uh, what is the sum and the product so you add these together. Actually for this one, for the sum, we use minus b over a. So you take the opposite of the three. Opposite, sorry, the uh, make the two negative and put it over top of the three and you get your answer, which is negative two thirds. Perfect. Your product is seven over three. So that's right. I see what you did here is you divided everything by the number in front, the a value, and that's okay. That's good that you did that. The thing is, you always have to switch the sign for your sum. So this is minus 7 over 2, so this should be a plus because the sum is always the opposite, and that's why the negative is there for the b. And your product is negative 22. Uh, the last set of questions. If I look at this and I'm given that these are my roots, all I have to do is add them together, I get 11. So negative 11 is correct because it's the opposite. Multiply them together, I get 30. So 30 is correct. So that's yes, these are my roots. For this one, you added them together and you got minus 23 over 8. So that means it should be the same as 72 over 130, which it's not. So this is not correct. This answer is not correct according to your information. So again, remember those two little things, the two little templates that we had set up there, and you'll do much, uh, much better on this section. Talk to you soon.